why backslash? Well, actually, to answer that question, you have to go back in time. Way back in time. Way, way, way back in time. All the way back to MS-DOS 1.0. See, MS-DOS 1.0 was modeled after a previous operating system named CPM. And it turns out many of the design concepts in CPM actually come from an even earlier set of operating systems done by Digital Equipment Corporation. Digital Equipment Corporation used forward slash as their command line switch character. And so that got carried forward into MS-DOS 1.0. They adopted the forward slash character as the command line switch character. And that worked great until MS-DOS 2.0 when all of a sudden, they added directories. Now, what do you do about directory separator characters? Well, the logical choice is to use what Unix did and the forward slash character, except the forward slash character, that was already used for switches. So what do you do? Backslash, because it's a slash, and backslash, forward slash, eh, it works great, right? So, backslash became the directory separator character, forward slash stayed the command line switch character, and everything was great. Except, turns out there's a lot of developers who really, really wanted to use forward slash as a directory separator. So they added an undocumented config.sys command line switch to change the switch character for the internal apps from forward slash to hyphen, and then the path algorithm understood that you could use a forward slash and all of a sudden, well, it worked. But of course, that was then. So why? 40 years ago, digital equipment made a choice and we are still seeing the consequences of that choice today.